That's a great fiction that's been perpetrated by people who really don't understand the science very well. Why do you say that? Well, the reality is that the Antarctic Peninsula has warmed up more than any place on Earth over the past 50 years, almost a degree per decade, five degrees over 50 years. That, and that's being driven by changes in air currents and changes in ocean circulation. Okay, so if I'm sitting at home and uh, I'm, I'm watching my kid or I'm putting clothes in the washer and dryer or cooking dinner, what, is this, what does this mean to me? Well, this means to you that here's another canary coming out of another coal mine saying that big things are happening at a big scale in different places. And, you know, it's harder to feel the, the immediate effects of climate change uh, in, in, in Tulsa or in Dubuque, but we're going to be feeling it in all of these places. And these events in Antarctica are part of that, that pattern of the Earth changing and part of uh, 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 a harbinger of what we're going to be seeing in our own personal lives. And what might, we're in Topeka, Dubuque, or wherever, what, what might we be seeing in the coming months or years that would affect us? It, we're going to see much more extreme weather conditions. Uh, in many cases, it's going to be hotter and drier. Uh, the areas of the United States that, are, that, that depend on their water supply from mountain areas are going to be in, in, in having a, a much harder time as time goes on. Okay. Uh, and I asked you, I was talking to you during the break, and I said, was there, because you, you document this all the time, was there a moment for you when, in all your travels that you have an epiphany and go, oh my gosh, things have certainly changed and very quickly? Yeah, I, I've been stunned at what I've seen. I had, a, I had an assignment in Iceland, actually, a, a few years ago, and I saw a glacier there that had more ice disappearing on it year after year after year, certifiably measured out, marked out, at, at a volume and a quantity that I never imagined was possible. And it was when I saw that glacier uh, and the degree to which it has, had changed in the past 10 years that I realized this, this whole climate change is very real and very significant, and it's happening right now at a blistering pace. Okay, and I'm going to be honest with you. We hear it so much. We hear about organic this, green that, mm -hmm. uh, our carbon footprint, and this sort of thing. And then almost to a point where you sort of become immune to it, sadly, because it's just in the background. But yeah. what, do you, what, do, what do you do? How do you change people's minds about this? What do we need to do in order to correct this problem, or is it too far gone? No, I don't think it's too far gone, and I think we've got a fantastic window of opportunity right now. We, um, we are aware of what we need to do economically. We're aware of what we need to do technologically. Uh, these, they're, they're not trivial challenges. They're big challenges. But you said there were mental challenges. Ed. But yes, yeah, the, 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 challenge, the big challenge really is a mental challenge. Uh, we have to just turn the way we're thinking around, get off the dime, stop uh, uh, denying that we have any responsibility, stop denying that we have a problem, and just deal with it, because we can deal with it. We have the tools to deal with it.